Hello, my name is Andy and I work here at the Winchester Science Centre. Today we are going to be having a go at an experiment that you can do at home. So as part of our 2021 year of sound, we are going to experiment with hot chocolate and how sound travels. And if you're anything like me, you will love hot chocolate. So welcome to, let's do it, the hot chocolate effect. Okay, so what you need for this experiment is hot chocolate powder of your choice and for adults instant coffee also works. You need a mug, a teaspoon, a kettle to boil, an adult to help you with this and some milk or a substitute. Also it's always good to grab some toppings of your choice. So you can pause the video here to gather all those things together. So we are going to be looking at the pitch of the sound. Now the pitch is how high or low the sound is. You might know pitch as notes, so you can get very high pitch notes and you can get lower pitch notes. So first things first, grab your mug and your teaspoon and start tapping on the rim. Are you noticing a change at all? No? No, me neither. Okay, so the next step is to get a couple of spoons of hot chocolate. To add a little bit of milk. And then safely and carefully add your boiling water. As you do so, mix it up with your spoon so you've got lots of nice bubbles on the surface. So now we're mixing it really well, mixing that hot chocolate up. Take the spoon out and tap it on the side. Can you hear a change now? I'll mix it again, see if you can hear it again. That pitch is increasing. It is rising higher and higher and higher. That might be the highest it goes. Let's mix up again and see if we can reset it. Okay, so we can hear it's getting higher and higher after we mix it up. So what's happening there? Well, the answer is bubbles. When we pour in that hot chocolate powder and the milk, you're also mixing in lots of tiny little bubbles of air. The sound takes a lot longer to travel through air than it does through liquid. So when you have lots of bubbles spread out evenly throughout the mug, that sound is being obstructed by the bubbles of air. And the longer you leave it, the more those bubbles, which are very light, rise to the surface of the hot chocolate and they burst as they escape leaving the hot chocolate as bubble-free as possible. And that means the sound is able to travel faster and the pitch increases, meaning the note rises. So have a go yourself. Make sure you add lots of good toppings. Let us know what happens. And have a wonderful rest of your day.